Today, we expose the $1 billion secret. Apple's massive deal to use Google's Gemini 3 to fix Siri. You'll see the AI's power, why it's a huge step for Apple, and why they're already trying to find a way out. Hit subscribe and let's go. Hello everyone, what is up guys? Have you heard the wild news? Two of the biggest companies in the world, Apple and Google, are officially teaming up. They've struck a massive AI partnership rumored to be worth a billion dollars every single year. This is huge, not just for them, but for all of us. We're going to dive into exactly what this means, check out the insane power of Google's new Gemini 3, and figure out if Apple might actually be walking into a trap here. Let's get right into it. Okay, first things first, the money. Bloomberg and other reports confirm Apple is likely paying Google about $1 billion annually. And why the giant check? Simple. Apple needs to upgrade Siri, like yesterday. They're basically leasing Google's best AI, that gigantic 1.2 trillion parameter Gemini model, to totally reboot their assistant. So what's Siri actually going to do with this new brain? It's all about high-level tasks, specifically the summarizer and planner functions. Think about it. Asking Siri to instantly digest a massive 5,000-word article or perfectly plan a complex multi-stop road trip. This partnership is Apple saying, hey, we're skipping the line and getting the best AI available right now. It's a huge, immediate power-up. Now let's talk about the tech Apple is buying access to. Gemini 3 Pro. This thing is an absolute monster. It's a 1.2 trillion parameter model that isn't just good. It's currently setting the curve, beating out everything else on the AI leaderboards. Let's look at the three biggest reasons why it's such a big deal. First up, the smarts. We're talking PhD level reasoning here. Gemini 3 Pro is nailing these super difficult benchmarks like GPQA Diamond. This isn't just generating text. This is truly understanding incredibly complex context, solving advanced math problems, and thinking on a whole new level. Second, coding and agent skills. Imagine an AI that doesn't just write code, but can actually operate your computer through the terminal to get tasks done. That's agentic capability, and Gemini 3 Pro is topping the charts there too. This is the future of automating everything from web development to customer service. And finally, the coolest feature, in my opinion, generative UI. Instead of just getting a block of text, the AI actually creates the perfect interactive visual interface for your answer right on the spot. Charts, simulations, buttons, whatever you need. It's going to make talking to A, I feel way more seamless and useful. Now here's where the plot thickens. This partnership is an absolute win for Apple right now, instant world-class AI. But in the long run, it creates a huge headache. Apple's whole identity is built on vertical integration. They control the whole stack, relying on Google, their biggest rival, for their most important future technology. That's a tough pill to swallow. The better Gemini 3 is, the more Apple has to rely on Google. That dependence conflicts with their core philosophy. So this deal is actually pushing Apple to accelerate their own homegrown AI effort. We know they are working hard on their own 1 trillion parameter model, hoping to launch it as early as 2026. They want their independence back, badly. So this partnership is both necessary and strategic. It buys Apple time and gives them instant access to Gemini 3's power, but it simultaneously motivates them to build their own replacement fast. The AI arms race is officially on, and the question remains, who will truly lead in the end? All right, guys, that's the full breakdown. This Apple-Google AI story is fascinating. A brilliant short-term move, but a huge long-term risk. What are your thoughts? Are you excited for the new Siri? Do you think Apple can catch up to Gemini 3? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please smack that like button, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.